In this demonstration, we're going to walk you through how to change the way modes for a Sartorius AY series. The balance we'll be using today is an AY412. The balances are delivered such that they weigh in grams only, so there is no other functions enabled. To make the balance such that we can switch way modes or have toggle between way modes, we need to get into that function or application. So to do so, what we need to do is we need to press and hold down the zero key. And I'm holding it down and you'll see this is the first application and that's a one and then it says no app. So this would be no application. Now if I press the F key I have two, and this is unit, so this would be the unit mode, and I'll just show you some other uh, applications that are in here. If I press the F key again, this is the count mode, so three is count mode. Four, this is percent mode. Five, this is the hold function. Six, this is totalization function. Seven is specific gravity, and then we're back to no application is enabled. So we want to go to way units because we want to be able to toggle between two way units. So we press the F key and when we see it says two unit, now we need to press the enter key. And now we have entered the unit application and you can see here now it says grains. I'm sorry, this is grams. We can change this by pressing the F key this would be carats, this would be pounds, ounces, troy ounces, this is like teal, this is teal again, this is teal again, these are used over in like India. Um, this would be grains, penny weight, this is teal again, this is pound, colon ounces, this is newtons. So let's just say you're a jeweler and you want to weigh in grams and penny weight. So the default is always... Uh, grams is the primary mode. We'll set it up so that the secondary mode will be in penny weight. Troy ounces. Penny weight. So now we have penny weight selected and we need to store this value. So to store it, we have to again press and hold the enter key. And then we have penny weight. So now the balance is in penny weight. If I put on 100 grams, that's equivalent to the 64 point, I think it's 64.3 penny weight, or 64.295 penny weight. To change the weigh mode, all I have to do is hit the F key. Now I'm in grams. To toggle back, I go to penny weight. Now say if you wanted to change the weigh mode, you don't want penny weight, you want to go into carrots. To do it, once again, we have to get into that function. So we're going to press and hold the zero key. We're in units. Units is selected. We're in penny weight right now. We're going to switch it. So now we're going to go to, let's go to ounces instead. And now again, we're going to store it by pressing the enter key. So now we're in ounces. If I put on my weight, we're in ounces. If I hit the F key, we're going to go back to grams. Okay. Now, the balance, if we shut off the balance, we turn the balance back on. One thing you'll notice is when you're using the balance in the unit application, it is always going to power up in the secondary mode. So now we have it in troy ounces. And if I press the F key, we're in grams. Now, a lot of people will call us and say, well, look, I don't want grams as the primary wave mode. So, in order to get into this function, it's a little bit tricky, and we'll walk you through how to do it. Um, it is in the manual, but it, it really doesn't explain it that, that well. So, to get into this function, we have to get into the codes. And the way to do this is basically we need to turn off the balance. And when we turn off the balance... We're going to power it up, and when all the segments illuminated, we're going to briefly press the zero key. 
So we turn on the balance and then press the zero key. And of course I didn't press it in time. So let's try it again. I'm going to turn on the balance and while it's illuminated, I'm going to press and hold the zero key and there's my one. That's where I want to be into. So if I want to change the way mode so that we'll say the primary mode is going to be, um, we'll say carrots. The carrot mode, to get into there, the primary, we'd want to set this to 174. Now the manual really doesn't specify these codes. Um, we just know the balance as well enough so that we know all these little codes to switch. So we now need to change it. So right now we have a 1 there. We need to change it to 171. So we need to move it over. We need to move the uh, button, we need to move the decimal place over, so what we'll do is we'll press, let's see, sometimes I forget these keys, we'll press the enter key, and so now we have 1-1, one, one, and I have to change this to a 7, so I'm going to press the F key to increment it up, and then I'll press the enter key to move over, and so you'll see right now it's 172. 172 is grams as the primary mode. We're going to change that to carrot. So to change that to carrot, we're going to hit the F key, and it's going to be 174. We now need to store it. To store it, we need to press and hold the Enter key down, and you'll notice there'll be a little circle here that will illuminate. That means that it's actually been stored. So I'm pressing and holding it down, and notice the round circle there. So now I need to reset my balance. So to save and confirm everything, I have to press and hold down the zero key and the balance resets. And when the balance resets, we're going to see now that the balance is going to be in carats and ounces. So right here we're in ounces and if I press the F key, now we're in carats. That little circle means carats. Okay, so now we're in grams, I'm sorry, we're in ounces and carats. And again, if I shut off this balance altogether, power up the balance, the balance is going to power up always in the secondary way mode, which is ounces. So let's just do that one more time for changing the primary mode to, so you guys have a, you know, more experience in seeing how I change this. So the first thing we want to do is turn off the balance. We're going to turn on the balance, and when all the segments are illuminated, press and hold down the zero key. You'll get a one there. You need to move over the You need to move it over one spot. So hit the enter key. Hit the F key to increment. We want to go to one seven. Hit the enter key. This time we'll change it to penny weight. Penny weight is going to be twelve. So we're going to hit the F key. So now we have 1712. We need to store it. To store it, we're going to press and hold the enter. You'll see the little circle there. Now we need to store all the functions and reset it. We do that by pressing and holding down the zero key. The balance powers back up. And now we're in our secondary mode, which is ounces. And if we press the F key, notice this time we're in penny weight. So that's how you change the weight modes. We hope this video was informative, gives you an example of how to change and configure your Sartorius AY series. If you're interested in buying this product, visit our website at either balances.com or scaleman.com. We are an authorized Sartorius dealer. We do keep a lot of these AYs in stock. Please visit our website. Thank you for watching this video.